I hope you everyone is doing good. So I am here to show you one of the interesting uh, techniques that can be easily performed for the analysis of phenolic compounds. Phenolic compounds, uh, they are a kind of compounds that plants possesses, not all plants, but some plants possesses a phenolic compounds and they use it for their own defense mechanism or in other way, ways uh, they, they are used as a protective uh, you know you use as a protective mechanism against uh, many herbivory or uh, that, that can be parasitism or uh, to regulate certain environmental stress so plants possess uh, such compounds and these compounds we use it indirectly uh, for our own health benefits so there are different ways to taste uh, phenolic compounds. You can go ahead with a laboratory taste with perichloride taste or it may be lead acidic taste. And there are certain um, tests that can uh, be performed for, for identifying or for detecting uh, phenolic compounds. However, we, we, can, we can go for a shortcut method. I'm going to show you uh, very easily uh, available kind of tests you can perform for detecting the phenolic compounds this is uh, because uh, many times researchers or many people they try uh, to screen a certain plants for a particular compounds and then uh, screening uh, those uh, phytochemical compounds they can help in further uh, you know analysis of bioactivity so the screening test takes a lot, lot of time. So this can help in reducing uh, the time for screening of plants. So that is what we are going to do now. We are going to, uh, I'm going to show you the shortcut method for uh, testing phenolic compounds without uh, you know, any laboratory test. Very simply, I'm going to use a blue litmus paper. This is uh, what it looks like. This is a blue lit litmus paper. So again, uh, one important thing is, uh, I, like I told you, there are some plants that possess uh, you know, phenolic compounds and some possess in a very low con uh, you know, concentration and some possess in high concentration that depends upon the environment as well as the plant. So I'm going to show you one plant uh, which is rich in phen phenolic compound and uh, we have got one extract, uh, one plant extract uh, that uh, doesn't have a phenolic compound. So uh, let me show you. So we have got a, just I'll show you. Okay, we have got a plant extract here. Okay. So this doesn't have a phenolic compound. Let's see how the color turns out so this is the color you get when you don't uh, find uh, phenolic compound or very less uh, phenolic compound so you this is how you try to detect so on the other hand i'm going to show you a plant with good phenolic compound so it's very Easily you will find uh, this plant. This is a Lantana camara. It's a kind of invasive plant you will find in most of the uh, you know, places of India, especially mainland India. So let's see the fruits. These fruits uh, they contain they contain certain uh, phenolic compounds. We just need to we just need to detect uh, their presence. So we have dissolved uh, some of the fruits in distilled water and this is how the color looks like and when you dip a piece of blue litmus paper this is the color you get so it is dark in color bluish black in color as compared to the one uh, that we had tested before which doesn't have a blue color 
bluish black color so this is how you detect the presence of phenolic compounds uh, very easily so this detection is also important because there are many phenolic compounds that are responsible uh, for treatment of various diseases like uh, cardiovascular diseases and uh, they can be uh, very important anti-inflammatory uh, agents and apart from that there are many you know chronic degenerative uh, diseases that can be treated by many of the phenolic compounds so in that way uh, you can screen out plants having uh, phenolic compounds and go ahead with many other uh, bioassays so next time when you try to find uh, you know detect uh, phenolic compounds very easily even in, uh, in, in field when you don't have much time you can go ahead with this kind of techniques so next time uh, we'll share you such uh, you know easily available uh, experiments that you can go ahead so that's all thank you